So if we're doing that, then that means that uh, we're producing core every 15 seconds. Yeah. Why is Elon testing two new battery chemistries at the same time, aluminum ion and sodium ion, instead of going all in on one? As Tesla heads into the 2026 era of Model 2 and the next generation of affordable EVs, Musk himself admitted that lithium ion is reaching its practical limit. Both aluminum ion and sodium ion promise cheaper, safer, and easier to produce cells, but only one might have what it takes to become Tesla's next true breakthrough. So what's hidden behind this dual battery strategy? Is Elon preparing for a full-scale supply shift? A new energy architecture for the Model 2? Or even a backup plan in case global lithium prices spike again? We'll break it all down. If you'd rather hear what really matters under the hood, not the marketing noise, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Let's push auto gear shift past 12,357 subscribers and keep real car talk alive for those who care about tech that actually works. Why is Tesla suddenly rethinking the battery that built its empire? Between 2021 and 2024, the price of lithium skyrocketed by more than 210%, climbing from around $12,000 per ton to over $38,000. That surge didn't just rattle suppliers, it directly undercut Tesla's ability to keep its vehicles affordable. Battery packs still account for roughly 37-40% to 40 of an EV's total production cost, and lithium-ion cells have reached a point where every marginal improvement costs exponentially more to achieve. Technically, the chemistry is showing its age. Even the best lithium-ion packs, such as Tesla's current 4680 cells, still face the same core issue, thermal runaway. When internal temperatures exceed 150 degrees Celsius, 302 degrees Fahrenheit, during rapid charging or collision, cells can ignite within seconds. Despite multiple cooling layer redesigns, this remains a safety risk that no software update can solve. Then there's the supply bottleneck. Nickel and cobalt, critical to high-energy lithium cells, are sourced mainly from politically volatile regions like Indonesia and the Congo. Cobalt prices, for instance, have fluctuated between $30,000 and $80,000 per ton in just the past three years, making long-term production planning nearly impossible. Meanwhile, charging performance has hit a wall. Even with Supercharger 5 4 reaching up to 350 kilowatts, the real-world charging time from 10% to 80% still averages 25 to 30 minutes, far from the 5-minute refill benchmark Musk keeps promising. That's why Tesla can't simply refine lithium-ion any further. It has to reinvent. The next step must deliver higher safety, faster charging, and lower material dependency all at once. Instead of betting everything on one chemistry, Elon Musk has greenlit two parallel technologies, aluminum ion and sodium ion, each with radically different cost curves and energy dynamics. One targets speed and resilience, the other affordability and scalability. Together, they signal Tesla's most aggressive shift in battery strategy since the company's founding. How could aluminum ion be Tesla's fastest and safest battery yet? Aluminum ion technology represents Tesla's bet on raw speed, built around a deceptively simple architecture that puts pure aluminum at the anode and porous graphene at the cathode, creating channels that let ions move faster than anything lithium ion can achieve. Lab prototypes are already hitting full charge in one to five minutes flat, delivering stable current without the complex cooling systems that add weight and cost to every Tesla on the road today. The safety profile reads like an engineer's fever dream. No flammable electrolytes means these cells are nearly impossible to detonate, operating reliably up to 120 degrees Celsius in conditions that would send lithium batteries into thermal meltdown. Charging generates less heat, which means your Model S won't turn your closed garage into a fire hazard, and the absence of toxic gas emissions during operation makes these batteries cleaner for both the environment and anyone sitting in the cabin. Weight savings matter more than most buyers realize. Lighter batteries reduce overall vehicle mass, 
easing stress on the frame and making entry and exit less punishing on your knees and back over years of ownership. Longevity is where aluminum ion truly separates itself, pushing past 10,000 charge cycles without meaningful degradation. Compare that to lithium's typical 1,500 to 2,000 cycles before capacity starts dropping off a cliff. The trade-off comes in energy density, sitting at 150 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram compared to lithium ions 250 to 300, which translates to shorter range for the same battery size. But that gap matters less when you can recharge in the time it takes to grab coffee. The real obstacles are economic and industrial. Pure aluminum costs more than Tesla wants to pay. And mass-producing graphene cathodes at automotive scale remains an unsolved manufacturing challenge that no supplier has cracked. Tesla is steering aluminum ion toward applications where its strengths shine brightest. Charging stations that need to cycle constantly. The Cybertruck where fast turnaround justifies the range penalty and the semi where downtime directly costs money and safety concerns multiply with commercial operations. How about sodium ion? How can salt water beat lithium? Sodium ion batteries take the opposite approach from aluminum's speed obsession, prioritizing cost and availability over bleeding edge performance through a structure pairing hard carbon anodes with sodium iron, phosphate cathodes that mirror lithium iron phosphate chemistry but swap in abundantly available sodium instead. The economics are impossible to ignore. Raw materials come from ordinary salt, rather than contested lithium deposits or conflict zone cobalt mines, slashing production costs by 30 to 40 percent, compared to current lithium ion packs that already run Tesla around $132 per kilowatt hour. Charging speed sits in the middle ground at 15 to 20 minutes to reach 80 percent capacity which beats standard lithium-ion cells but can't touch aluminum-ion's blistering 1-5 to five minute performance. For context, that 15-minute charge time still outpaces the typical 30-45 to 45 minutes most drivers spend at supercharger stations with current Model 3 long-range batteries. Safety is where sodium-ion delivers peace of mind that matters to drivers who remember the headlines about Tesla fires. These cells won't ignite when exposed to water Thermal runaway risk drops to near zero, and the chemistry resists combustion even under conditions that would turn lithium batteries into fireballs. Older drivers especially benefit from the reduced explosion risk, and the stability during rapid charging means Tesla can skip the heavy-duty cooling systems that add complexity and failure points. The technology stumbles in cold weather, with efficiency plummeting below freezing temperatures at zero degrees Celsius where lithium-ion still functions, and energy density maxes out around 160 watt-hours per kilogram, putting range at a disadvantage against lithium's 250-plus figures. That translates to roughly 35 to 40 percent less driving range for the same battery pack size, meaning a 75-kilowatt-hour sodium-ion pack delivers what a 50-kilowatt-hour lithium pack achieves. Tesla sees sodium ion as the entry ticket to price-sensitive markets, targeting a potential Model 2 or budget Model 3 variant for Chinese, Indian, and Southeast Asian buyers who prioritize affordability over maximum range. Beyond vehicles, these batteries make perfect sense for stationary storage where weight and space matter less than longevity and cost, positioning them as the backbone for next-generation Powerwall home systems and utility-scale Megapack installations that need to cycle daily without degradation concerns eating into long-term ROI. Current Megapack units using lithium-ion cost around $300,000 per unit. Sodium-ion versions could drop that to $180,000 to $210,000 while maintaining the 3 megawatt hour capacity utilities demand. What's hidden behind Elon's dual battery gambit? Tesla isn't picking winners between aluminum ion and sodium ion, because Musk is playing a different game entirely, running both technologies in parallel to create a flexible battery ecosystem where chemistry matches vehicle segment, rather than forcing one solution across the entire lineup. Aluminum ion targets the high-performance tier where speed and safety justify premium pricing. 
positioning it for drivers willing to pay extra for 5-minute charging and bulletproof thermal stability in their Cybertrucks and Model S Plaid variants. Sodium Ion attacks the mass market segment, where cost sensitivity dominates purchasing decisions, enabling Tesla to hit price points that bring electric vehicles within reach of buyers currently priced out by $50,000 plus sticker tags. This strategy lets Tesla segment its product stack with surgical precision. Wealthy early adopters get aluminum's performance advantages, while budget-conscious families in developing markets get sodium's affordability without Tesla sacrificing margin on either end. The hidden angle that competitors are missing involves battery swapping infrastructure, a concept Tesla abandoned in 2013 but may resurrect specifically for compact vehicles using aluminum ion packs that charge fast enough to make swapping economically viable. Sodium ion wouldn't work for swapping due to slower charging speeds, but its rock bottom cost makes it perfect for vehicles that charge overnight at home or in depot settings, where time pressure doesn't exist. The deeper strategic play is about supply chain independence. Tesla watched lithium prices spike over 200% and learned that betting everything on a single material creates vulnerability to geopolitical shocks, mining bottlenecks, and cartel pricing. Running aluminum ion and sodium ion simultaneously means Tesla never faces a scenario where cobalt embargoes or nickel shortages shut down production lines. If aluminum costs surge, Tesla shifts volume to sodium. If cold weather markets reject sodium's sub-zero performance issues, aluminum picks up the slack. Musk is building redundancy into the core technology that powers his entire business, ensuring that no single commodity can hold Tesla hostage the way lithium suppliers currently can across the industry. By 2026, the battery under your Tesla's floor won't be determined by what chemistry won some internal competition, but by what you're willing to pay and how you plan to use the vehicle. So here's what matters. Would you sacrifice 100 miles of range for a five-minute charge? Or would you rather save $15,000 up front and charge overnight at home? And what's your final choice? Drop your thoughts by commenting aluminum or sodium to let us know. If you want more breakdowns that cut through the marketing noise and focus on what actually moves the needle in automotive tech, hit that like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and smash the notification bell so you don't miss our next deep dive.